Greetings, beloved earth angelic beings of the new earth. Happy Equinox. It is 3-20-2023, March 20th. It is the 32-223 portal of the 5-5 frequency of fifth dimension coming in. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have a very special transmission for you today to celebrate this most powerful day of this most powerful week of our lifetime in this timeline. We are going to begin with a powerful transmission about today's harmonic convergence and synchronization of this most powerful equinox and then complete with a very special transmission from our beloved Sistar of the Light, Sangita Honda, about this extraordinary equinox and supernatural March 23rd, the flash event for humanity and Gaia. So let us begin this journey together with Harmonic Convergence 2020 through 2028. Shifting Timelines, Part 11, Harmonic Convergence of the Ancient Future Now, Solar Consciousness in Motion. We are living in extraordinary times on Earth. Today marks the entrance to the first equinox portal of 2023, second on this 13 moon year. This gateway signals the perfect moment when the sun passes directly over the Earth's equator, bringing equal day and night to both the north and south hemispheres. Our ancient ancestors saw this window as a special time of communion with the cosmos and built amazing temples and structures to mark and track these alignments. Today many groups from all traditions are coming together once again to consciously anchor the new energies and the changings of the seasons on earth. This equinox portal is no ordinary event. It holds a key intersecting node of past, present, future timelines, signaling another massive tectonic shift across the fabric of time-space. How is this? There are nine harmonic factors to consider. 1. Ancient New Beginnings On the ancient Maya vigesimal count today corresponds to long count marker 13.0.10. Point seven, point one, one emish, the equivalent of keen number one on the Zolkin count, and marks the start of a new sacred cycle of two hundred and sixty days. Number two, thirteen thousand days of the harmonic convergence. Today marks the completion of thirteen thousand days and thirteen thousand nights from the harmonic convergence of August sixteenth through the seventeenth. 1987. 13,000 days is one perfect half of the 26,000 year cycle known as the precession of the equinoxes. Number 3. Synchronization at the heart of time. On the galactic Maya count, this point of balance between day and night is taking place right at the heart midpoint of moon number 9 of the 13 moon year and also at the heart of this 13 day cycle of the sun on keen 46 7 world bridger the affirmation of keen 46 white resonant world bridger states i channel in order to equalize inspiring opportunity i seal the store of death with the resonant tone of attunement I am guided by the power of endlessness. We have this concept of equalize, which is equality, synchronizing with equinox and the equator. This is middle dantian of Pachamama, the heart chakra, the heart center. Number four, ancient future return of prophecy. Keen 46, seven world bridger is analog of seven Kimi, one of the two lords of Shibalba on the Popol Vuh. Keen 46, Seven World Bridger corresponds to the ancient future return of Mayan sage and prophet Pakal Votan. 
recorded in stone on the west panel of the temple of inscription as long count marker 1.0.0.0.0.8 5 lamat october 21st 4772 keen 46 7 world bridger today is therefore important to remember that last solstice portal on december 21st 2022 synchronized with the completion of 99 galactic spins from the discovery of his tomb the temple of inscriptions at the ancient city of lakama palenque on june 15 1952 keen 218 white planetary mirror this discovery opened an entire new transmission of prophetic knowledge and wisdom that is still being uncovered. This transmission is known today as the Telectanon Prophecy of Pakal Votan, the Earth Spirit Speaking Tube. In other words, since we enter the solstice portal of 2022, we are completing 100 Zolkins, 26,000 Keen from this transcendental discovery. This 26,000 keen cycle is a perfect fractal of the 26,000 year cycle known as the procession of the equinoxes. This represents the completion of another major holographic prophetic milestone. This ninth moon is the solar jaguar moon of intention. The jaguar is revered by the Maya as the guardian and king of the jungle. Carvings in stone reveal ancient king of Palenque, known as Pakal Votan, being enthroned on top of two jaguar totems. We will expand on the significance of the synchronization in the coming days. Number 5. Solar Signs of Prophecy Now is also relevant to make conscious that this 13-day cycle we are transiting started seven days ago on Keen 40, One Sun. The yellow sun holds the power of universal fire that brings light to all planetary life. The sun is the 20th out of the 20 solar seals. The number 20 represents the base of the advanced vigesimal mathematical system devised by the ancient Maya. Number 20 is also written as 1.0. It is therefore defined as the number of totality 1 and was considered sacred. Many ancient cultures and traditions also considered 20 years to be the span of one generation. The Maya revered these 20-year cycles and observed them as Ahau, Katun cycles. Since Ahau is the 20th solar seal and this cycle is observed every 20 solar years. Keen 41 Sun is analog of one Ahau. This is the twelfth clear sign of prophecy carved around the sarcophagus lid of King Pakal, born on 8 Ahau. Pakal means solar shield. Number 6. Solar shield, solar moon, solar wave spell, solar flare, solar tornado, solar consciousness. It is also important to remember that this 13-day cycle commanded by the sun was ignited by two powerful and rare solar events. Extremely rare far side CME, Something big just happened on the far side of the sun during the early hours of March 13th. Soho coronagraphs recorded a far side halo CME leaving the sun faster than 3,000 kilometers a second. Because of its extreme speed, the CME is classified as extremely rare, a fast mover that occurs only once every decade or so. Spaceweather.com this rare solar event synchronized with another powerful and rare solar phenomena, a solar tornado. For much of the past week, astronomers have been watching a colossal solar tornado dance near the sun's north pole. This thing was twisting and growing for three days, said Apollo Lasky of Naperville, Illinois. I've never seen anything like it in all my years of watching the sun, he says. It never stops. Amazing. Unlike tornadoes on Earth, which are shaped by wind, tornadoes on the sun are controlled by magnetism. Solar magnetic fields that twist in a furious spiral, dragging clouds of plasma around with them. The halo explosion took place on March 13, 2023. Keen 39, 13 storm. As we were marking the completion of 43 Zolkin cycles, 
from the time shift 1992-7-26. Number 7. Prophetic Synchronization by the Power of Seven Precisely three days after the equinox on 10 moon, Keen 49, 7 times 7, March 23, 2023, marks other prophetic events. Pluto enters Aquarius. Pluto's sign placement defines the path of evolution of an individual soul and the evolutionary priorities for each generation. Since 2008, Pluto's transit through Capricorn, a cardinal or activation archetype, has swung the wrecking ball on systems, structures, and consciousness that have outworn their utility. Capricorn correlates to time and time spans, the aging process, mortality, and to the limits of reality. Cosmic Intelligence Agency Within Zolkin cosmology and the Telectonon prophecy of Pakal Votan, the sun holds the galactic karmic flow of Pluto, and the storm holds the solar prophetic flow. Solar Prophetic Synchronization The synchronization of the sun and Pluto on Keen 49, 7 by 7, also marks 1,420 years from the arrival of Pakal Votan to Earth, March 23rd, 603. Twelve years from the departure of Jose Arruez Volom Votan on March 23rd, 2011. Number 8. Prophetic Reunion of Elders. A prophetic reunion of elders and representatives of indigenous cultures of all Turtle Island is taking place in La Cama, Palenque, Chiapas, Equinox Ceremonies. Prayers and celebrations are being held in the ancient temples in the fulfillment of the prophecy of the reunion of the eagle and the condor, Quetzal and Hummingbird. Our love and support to all the earth's families and relatives who are coming together on the sacred site for this anchoring of the equinox energies on earth after 52 years, one sacred calendar round. Fulfilling prophecy, birthing the union of the condor and the hummingbird, Amazon, Quetzalcoatl. Number 9. Solar Consciousness in Motion These celebrations are also synchronizing with the start of a seven-day virtual event organized by the Foundation for the Law of Time to turn the seven keys of cosmic history and activate solar consciousness. What is all this signaling? The significant is multi-level. At a higher level, we are seeing the synchronic order operating with incredible elegance right at the start of the 13-day wave spell of the sun, reassuring us that there is a deeper story unfolding behind the veil of appearances. These events are orchestrated by solar consciousness as we enter the ascending curve of solar cycle 25. Since the start of 2023, we are experiencing a peak of solar activity and we are almost double the predicted values. At a more grounded level, it is inviting us to look for the connections and the resonance with similar events from the past and connect the dots. As we keep track of the events that are unveiling the deeper layers of the archetypal story unfolding, we are also building a wider framework to interpret those connections. 2020 through 2028, shifting from harm to harmony. With so much confusion transpiring around our planet now, it is wise to save some time to focus our attention in the sacred harmony, elegance, and beauty of the larger cycles of evolution on earth. By shifting our focus of attention from chaos to harmony and seeing the world from this higher perspective, we are building a coherent mental field of harmony around the earth. When our brains, bodies, cells, and train with this universal pattern coming together, then our thought forms, mental waves, and train in time with the sacred proportions and ratios we can see present in all of nature and also present in the fabric of time. This process is also known as the telepathic reconstitution of reality. The 13-moon, 28-day calendar establishes a new harmonic standard for timekeeping that promotes greater access to our inherent creativity and capacity to live in harmony with each other 
and the planet. The 13-month moon 28-day calendar is an indigenous calendar for a sovereign humanity, a new harmonic calendar for a new time of peace and harmony. We invite everyone to connect and vibrate in tune with the heart of the earth and the heart of the galaxy during this equinox portal and hold the light as we close a perfect hologram of 13,000 days and nights from the harmonic convergence of 1987. We are one pulse, one earth, one people. Wishing a blissful and transformative equinox to all life everywhere, may peace, harmony, and beauty prevail on earth. In la ketch a la keen. And now for a very, very special transmission from our beloved Divine Sistar of the Light, Sangita Handa. Extraordinary Equinox and Supernatural March 23rd, the flash event for humanity and Gaia. Hello, patrons of the Temple and the Light Tribe on Earth. A great deal of protection has been taken right now to scribe this powerful transmission. On February 16th, a phenomenal task was performed in the Himalayas of India, the star alignment was unusual and the day was sacred. Two big havens or fire ceremonies were conducted in the solitude and the height of the Himalayan mountains. Before we go further, it would serve to be understood that there are two sublimely potent portals on earth, the Great Pyramid of Giza, Cairo, Egypt, and the entire Himalayan range of India. The Giza Pyramid is the receptor of God's light from the Great Central Sun, GCS, and the Himalayas are the reservoir of this light. This is where the light is held and stored, the powerhouse and the lighthouse of God. Both places are under the evil eye constantly. Now we have the equinox on the 20th and 21st of March, timing IST, 2.45 a.m. on the 21st. This is not a regular annual event, and this is why. Pluto, after pinnacling at 29 degrees in Capricorn on February 11th and 12th of 2023, enters Aquarius at zero degree on March 23rd, and the equinox on March 21st also occurs at zero degree Aries. Both of these events occur at zero degrees a powerful fulcrum pivotal point. Quote from earlier article, the 29th degree is also known as the anoretic degree or the faded degree. This is the degree that is considered the critical degree is 29. Because as a planet or luminary moves through this degree with only one more to go, the 30th, its energetics become very powerful in their unleashing. Herein the energies manifest with utmost power and formidable force. But that's not all. Energies that manifest here are uniquely different from energies at any other degree. So one, they are at their strongest, then most difficult, and lastly, very different. Similarly, zero degree is considered equally powerful and holds greater meaning because of being at the cosmic zero point and also due to the potent nature of being at the beginning of the sign. So consequently, this equinox is a zero-point event on a personal and on a cosmic level. Sticking first to the equinox date, let's begin to explain what is the zero-point level. From the blue sapphire tablet of the blue ray one, internal plasma can break the following carbon atom structure of the 666, Base 666 carbon atom of a carbon-based human body. The mark of the beast up until now, the human body was quarantined by the triple six atomic structure. Quarantined by the beast. Now since the human body is made up of atoms and ions, electrically charged atoms, by adding electrons or removing electrons from an atom, it naturally performs a function of biological ionization, and this process generates plasma when exposed to certain forces. Now how does biological ionization produce plasma naturally? When the atom loses electrons, it generates a positively charged 
heated gas that when mixes with the existing negatively charged electrons discharges extra energy creating a strong electromagnetic field of high temperature that causes the formation of plasma the zero point energy the understanding of which forms the basis of what is going to be scribed now zero point energy is when the electron is at an infinite distance from the nucleus as the electron comes closer the energy decreases condensation occurs the energy of the system becomes negative now when an electron is infinitely distanced which means removed the energy becomes heated and a zero point is reached at which point the internal plasma is formed it is a state when the brain is actually at rest and asleep but the internal evolution is at its heightened level through the heated gas and high temperatures remember heat is added to return to light and heat is removed for energy to condense and solidify generated by the biological ionization process this inadvertently intensifies and enforces the action of healing and regeneration that which then takes center stage and the spiritual evolution of the body gathers speed this all occurs because of the ionization effect which produces the internal plasma without the generation of this ascension is a very very far away eventuality spread over innumerable lifetimes now from the very onset of the major transmutational year of 2023 number seven the solar activity began to amplify as we enter deeper into the photon belt receiving thereby a higher onslaught of photonic light as well this year is the most deadly year being a number seven of the violet fire at its assigned pinnacle in implosions and being as well now the twilight year of the kali yuga as we have subsequently now reached the border of 2024 the anticipated end of the kali yuga the zero point is a significant pause between the old draconian matrix and the new permanent causal matrix about to be activated at the strike of equinox ist 2:45 a.m 21st of march that occurs at exact zero degree all duality shall come to a pause neutralized a stillness of the zero point shall occur not a ripple not a wrinkle not any disorder nor any disturbance the zero point shall be anchored and all in meditation shall have immediate access to it the churning of the matrix shall occur as all polarity neutralizes and balance of unity is re-established since when atlantis was commanded into obliteration by the burning of the scroll and lord sanat kumara was instructed to switch off the main crystal and thoth thereby removed the causal matrix this equinox at zero degree shall set the energetic impulse for the next permanent causal matrix the influxing new light streaming forth at present is a dimensional and frequency shifting experience yes and jesus wept the zero point energy with the portal opening shall usher in out for all eternity because at the very core lies our dna it is to be a very high empowered light informational intel encounter to integrate and to absorb let's make sure we are the a vibrational match for this core shift energy of the blue light it shall be absolutely extraordinary and fertile in its potency meant to shake our body and consciousness so as to enable our entry into the 5d reality of the new permanent causal matrix that which is to be activated and initiated on march 23rd 2023 just a reminder since a while back we have been reading about the core of the earth and that it has stopped rotating not much is known about the core as our scientists have been more concerned in peeping into our neighbor's courtyard than studying the core of its own home a sacred space has already been created by the universe for us through the much transformational light influxes of the x class and the two sacred light ceremonies we conducted in the himalayas in february 2023 
It is time for our experience now and time for us to feel the flow of God transmits God's light into earth and humanity. The fire purification ceremonies were undertaken to remove all and any chance of the dark lodge to sabotage the activation of the new permanent causal matrix on March 23rd. So the first fire ceremony was inducted with voluminous red chilies and 108 mantra chants into the sacred fire to burn away the shadows of the Kali Yug that took advantage of the Kali Yug allowance and conducted artificial calamities worldwide, especially earthquakes and fires, and of recent the splitting of the land in the Himalayas and dissolving of the mountain range. The Dark Lodge, if could not succeed in capturing the Himalayas, ventured relentlessly in destroying it. This was a physically tough endurance ceremony for the priest and myself. The second ceremony was to express our gratitude to the universe and its creator for protecting us, and also included, in return by the light, a sealing of the area through divine protection and anchoring of divine intervention and divine providence for all on earth. This was the Satya Yuga, ceremony of fire. With every karmic contract you eliminate, you create new karma-free contract for the future. The new permanent causal matrix shall be uploaded soon, and spiritual progression is assured and rewards are around the corner with abundance manifestation soon to be made tangible and easily accessible for all on the path. The official activation of the new permanent causal matrix which has its copy in the causal body of the Logos of the planet, Lord Buddha, and Regent Logos, Lord Sanat Kumara, is scheduled for March 21st through the 23rd, 2023. In the new matrix, the Light Hierarchs shall upload the 5D program, along with its entire 5D infrastructure, that shall be launched at the causal level wherein all the energies of events and timelines are created and stored. Moreover, it's only thereafter that the new Ascended Masters will settle down in the Earth's field. On a subtle plane, the main point of their location will be at the Renuj Shambhala, now located at Mount Kailash, and within its underground infrastructure, plus in territorial branches within Eurasia. In some cases, Ascended Masters could also be found incarnating into living people through transmigration within already existing human bodies by agreement with their souls. In other cases, they will remain in 4D, but if necessary, can be temporarily embodied in 3D to solve specific tasks, as the former inhabitants of Tibetan Shambhala used to do. The establishment of a new reality on earth will not be quick and easy. There are still many battles ahead with the remnants of the gray eons and their civilizations, which still are prevalent on the planet. Now on March 23rd, when the new permanent causal matrix of the planetary logos shall be laid to replace the old draconian luciferan matrix of the Dark Lodge, earth will finally receive its freedom from the slavery imposed imprisoning 3D matrix and the new programs of the 5D and its new infrastructure shall be uploaded. This shall finally bring an abundance from the universe through the trinity frequency of the 369. Can you now see how systematically we are heading toward the end of the beginning of the end of Kali Yug by 2024? Why is the replacement of the old matrix important? Today we know that our DNA Deoxyribonucleic acid is one of the three main micromolecules. The other two are RNA and proteins that stores, transmits from one generation to generation and implements programs for the development and functioning of our organism, its individual organs and systems at the cellular level. Physical DNA has a copy in our causal body which accumulates and stores the energy of our thoughts and feelings and in accordance with them, corrects our life. This double strand or causal DNA is the basis of the main bioenergetic shell through which the light enters us, or hardly enters due to one's growing karma. 
Causal DNA is a mechanism that ensures the fulfillment of our mission on 3D Earth as contracted before incarnation. It carries the program of who we are in the present lifetime in absolute detail. As per the contract, this causal DNA triggers the cornerstone events for experiences to occur. That is, diseases, divorces, marriages, encounters with people that could be so hurtful that it changes one's life from its contract. Similarly, Earth too has a causal DNA. This causal DNA is stored in the core of the logos of the planet and it runs the planet, which is said to be the manifestation body of the logos. It ascertains all its vital activity, atmosphere, climate, winds, volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, and all other natural processes and natural calamities. It is also synchronizing its energies with the energies of the universe at large. Now, long, long ago, the vital activity of the planet was captured by the Dark Lodge and its draconian dark archons who then artificially changed the entire program and rematrixed it, imprisoning mankind forever. But now, with March 23rd, if no further evil interference occurs, Earth shall finally have a new permanent causal matrix to replace the draconian superseded one. Apparently it has been tested twice already, once by engaging the monads of the light beings on Earth, and second by directly injecting it into the body of the planet. This required increased velocity of light voltages, and therefore X-class flares were released by the sun, coming directly from the great central sun to the Earth. This is why from January 9th of this year we have been experiencing the impact of such heightened solar activity and its frequency, whipsaw effect of the highest order. This is because behind unusual and severe light ascension symptoms being experienced by humans at a genetic, cellular, skeleton, atomic, and molecular level. Symptoms such as extreme and feebling exhaustion and feeling of emptiness chest and heart pain, total wakefulness when we should be sleeping and drowsiness when we should be awake, shivering followed by hot flashes, running nose, sneezing, fever feeling, flu-like feeling, severe nerve pain, bone and joint pain, profuse migraines, eye swollenness, and under immense pressure, strange density in the ears, unexplainable pressure sensation in the ears, blurred vision, Strong, dense stools, even constipation, water retention, weight gain, breathing challenges. Fall in immunity levels with return of previous illnesses and pains, depression, and lethargy to levels of total disinterest in any work, sensitivity heightened to noise and crowds, bouts of intense depression and rejection of life and the outside world. The Temple of God's Will Speaks the ride, therefore, however rough and nerve-wrecking, is endurable, as you have been given a peep into the bright future ahead. You have been shown the dawn that is coming for sure, soon after the darkest hour of despair that you all are yet traveling through. You are taking back your power, visible to all by now. And that is en route to ultimate freedom, soon. Just as you are doing your bit, by continuing to tread forward despite having to walk on broken glass with bleeding feet and in deep, deep pain, without deterring off course, exhibiting your endurance spirit, committed to the cause and readiness for freedom. We, the universe too, are working hard on building the new infrastructure for you. When you arrive toward which you are already treading, as you approach the new marker of 2024, August, the ground shall be ready to receive you. This is the change you shall experience after a long, dreadful endurance. This last mile out of the blind maze is not going to be easy. Not all shall survive. Some may even retreat, but in the end, all shall reach the destination. Alone must you walk now, but with the universe watching over you. Help is everywhere, but may not be visible. Faith is your weapon. Endurance is your passion. Wisdom is the foresight that feeds your faith. 
connection is with us, and all of my light hierarchy. Darkness is everywhere on the path and temptation is visible. Free will or will is no longer a choice. We did not come here to fail. We shall succeed. There is no choice as you are already on the path. With every footfall, you are truly dissipating the darkness and eliminating the old karmic contracts. With every karmic contract you eliminate, you create new karma-free contracts for your future. The stars are alighted your path with their alignments, conjunctions, squaring, and trining. This is a magical last mile home as it has never been trodden before. And the universe is applauding your every footfall on the path as it is getting you closer and closer to unimagined and unexpected victory. You have made this experiment successful. Victory is yours indeed. So now both light and you are walking towards each other. Alas, the dawn is becoming visible, even though the darkness grows in proportion to abort the progression. It is now more than ever that clarity becomes mandatory. So the non-stop flight to clearing, cleansing, and transformation is zooming at high speed. Tighten your seat belts. Remember, reconstruction cannot occur without destruction. It is the end of the world as you know it, the end of an age, an era, an eon, in the space-time continuum. You are approaching the end of Kali Yuga, and its end phase is most chaotic. You are still traveling through darkness, but now prepare for landing in light. And as you know, there are no coincidences, so the equinox occurring on a moonless night, day, holds gentle reassurance for all. The Amavasya, moonless node light, starts at IST 4.17 p.m. on March 20th, already in progress, and ends at 1.23, 1.23 p.m. on March 21st, that in the midst of the darkest night, we are light. In the most fierce wind of unexpected circumstances, we are power. In the brokenness of beautiful dreams, we begin again and again. Through homes that end and children that leave, we continue with grace. When news continues with unimaginable and we weep for strangers, we find our heart. Through peril and wrong choices, we learn great wisdom. Through nights of not knowing the answers, we find ourselves in sacred silence. The silence of the zero point. Oneness. The only permanent and real qualities anyone can ever have are God qualities. We are in the temple of God's will, wisdom, power, and protection. From SangeetaHanda.net Wow, some powerful energies coming in. Let us know how you're feeling, beloved beings of light, in the comments below. And what you're experiencing in this most powerful, serene, and at the same time intense equinox of our lifetime and timeline. Thank you, beloved beings of light, for joining us today on this most auspicious day. And thank you for coming on this great mission of the ascension of human consciousness into homo luminous beings of eternal, infinite light. Be sure to join us tonight for our full transmissions. And please do us a favor and like, leave a comment and share this video to get this transmission out to more of our team of the 144,000. And our deepest gratitude and appreciation to all of you that continue to support us in our great work and mission together. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So if you'd like to support us with a pledge or donation, you could do so at egolovecondor.com. And we so very much look forward to walking over, stepping over the finish line with all of you into our new home upon the 5D, new heaven upon the new earth, in this new, eternal, infinite, golden age of enlightenment for all sentient beings of the way.
Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.